Are y'all done trying to convince yourselves that big people don't look good? Because, I mean, at this point, at this point, it's childish. And at this point, you should recognize that it don't make you look no better, babe. You don't look no better trying to say that we... You don't look no better is like a double negative. I don't know if anybody knows, like... That, that'd be like somebody saying, like, you don't, which means that you don't do something. And then no, which would cancel out the don't. So it would realistically mean that I do look better than you, but I'm playing semantics at that point. I don't, like, why am I, even com why am I even competing with somebody like Samira, right? And also, I don't think that she looks very good in this outfit. I don't know why she thought this was like, the definitive outfit to prove that fat people are desirable beyond belief. And also wearing, like, the skinned Yoshi hat, whatever this is, okay? I don't think it looks good, okay? If you were going to sit there and you were going to try to convince people like, hey guys, guess what? Fat people are ridiculously omega level attractive. This would not be the outfit that I would choose, dude. It, I'm sorry to say it. Uh, it. It just looks like a really underripe banana that's been overblown. Like somebody had like took a bike pump and put it into the banana and just started, whoosh, 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 you know, just like that. By the way, I'm sorry for the light. The light died the light died today and it's one of those weird lights that like rotate and stuff and i don't have one of those so i i don't know i can't replace it right now but it will be good by tomorrow this video is going to be weird and probably the live stream that we do tonight is going to be weird because i do have this light though so i mean you guys can see the illumination upon my face and hopefully that should be sufficient but anyway let's continue to watch some myra there's some other clips in this too not just some myra just... don't look good what does it do for you what does it do for you? Does it do what this dress is doing for me? What is the dress doing for you? <laughs> what is the dress doing for you, dude? Like, I know that people wear clothes to accentuate their natural form. And some people don't. Like, uh, you know, Soldier Boy from 2008. I don't know what that was, but he did that. I don't know what this is doing for you. Accentuating what exactly? The gut? The, I don't even understand your proportions, dude. And it's fine. Like, I'm not here to say that Samara is a bad-looking girl. She's incredibly talented. She knows how to sing. She knows how to at least communicate to a uh, a baseline degree of communication, right? Um, She seems like she doesn't know what she's talking about a lot of times, but at least she's, like, her vocabulary is there, so that's good. But overall, nah, this this don't look good, dude. Um, You're really inflated in the hands. I always get concerned when I see people with, like, really, really inflated hands because, like, my hands, I have, like, joints and stuff in them or whatever these are called. But I never see it in these very, very big people. Like, you can tell she's doing this, but you don't see anything. She's really fat. Like, double chinned up. No, it doesn't. Brand not making your size in something does not give you grounds to talk shit and degrade the brand. Brands are allowed to want a certain look and image with their products. I'm tired of seeing your face all over my 40 page, but I want to chime in also. My turn. You mentioned later in this video that you used to be fucking fat. True. I don't know why people are upset with the... <laughs> Like, if you put a derogatory, like, if you put a derogatory statement in the front of something, I don't know why so many people point that out as if that's a negative thing. I fucking hate it when people do that. Do you see what I did there? Because it doesn't, all it's doing is, like, it's amplifying it, right? It's just amplifying whatever you're saying. And then some people will claim that you're you're being a bad person because you're saying something that's negative or a bad word. No, I don't fucking care, okay? Anyway. And you say that clothes looked bad on your body because your body looked bad. You True. I mean, that's the factual statement. It's, it's like the, the claim I always go for is like, it doesn't matter what color the car is. If the car underneath it is garbage. If it's like falling apart, it's deteriorated. There's rust on the back end. You know, the door doesn't open. You got to like, you know what I'm talking about? Like one side of the car doesn't actually open up. You got to go in through the other side. Maybe you got the check engine light. Some Mexican dudes in the middle of the night went through and stole your catalyst converter. So now when you start up your car, it goes like, poof, 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 right? You got a whole bunch of stuff. And then you bring it to the shop and go, gold plated, gold plated, put the gold plate on that. Dude, your car is scrudged. Your car is busted. Why does it matter? Why does it matter what color it is? Fix the car. Get a good looking car. And the same thing, right? If you had a Lamborghini, right? Or like a, a, a Bugatti, right? If you had a Bugatti, 100%, it doesn't matter what color you get on that shit. It's a beautiful car. It's a beautiful automobile. I don't give a fuck if you put like diarrhea brown on that thing. It's going to look amazing. So it's always it's always the same shit with these people. Like for some reason, they focus so much on the layers when they don't want to focus on what's underneath, which is like the most important aspect of like literally any vehicle. And I'm going to count your body as a vehicle here, dude. You should 100% be taking care of the car that is your body. Instead, you're focusing so much on why don't, why do you care? Like, oh, you, we should be really focusing on the, the, the clothes that we can wear. Nah, dude, focus on the, I don't give a fuck.
you use derogatory terms to speak about your past self. Which, uh, like, yeah, so what? A lot of people do. A lot of people do, dude. A lot of people. And give the word fat a negative connotation. That's a dumb statement. That is a, whoa, that is a great, first of all, fat in general is not a negative annotation. It is a descriptive word, but you have to wait. You have to see where it's being used, right? You have to see the context at which that word is being used. I'll give you an example. Like when you're walking down a street and you see, like, let's say for instance, you stub your toe. Okay. You stub your toe. Fuck. Fuck. Right. Or when you're driving down the street and you see a Lamborghini, you're going to go, fuck. Right. Same word, different context, different meanings. Right. So Fat in and of itself is not a bad thing. Like somebody could say, damn, that ass fat. And then everybody go, yeah, that's really great. It's so beautiful. I love big voluptuous butt cheeks, right? But in the same way, in the same way, you so, yeah, that gut fat, not the same thing. It's bad now, right? Because it's, you're talking about somebody's big, giant, voluptuous gut, which I've never heard anybody go, I want to put my face between. I've never heard that. And you can't put your face between a gut, uh, especially when you get so big. So it depends on where the gut shape is, though. Some people have like that natural, you know what I'm talking about? They got the, because the belly button separates the gut sometimes, and it kind of turns into two different guts almost. But sometimes if you're a big man, sometimes you get the cut off in the middle. You know, you get the cut off like horizontally. And either way, I don't think it's a good thing. It probably smells like goat cheese um, mixed with some kind of ketchup or something like that. Probably wouldn't taste that good either. I don't know. There are a lot of people that are into that weird stuff, to be honest. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say that I haven't put my face in, in between a butt cheek or two, but that's different. Women cleanse themselves. I don't know what so many women are on nowadays trying to eat men's butt cheeks. That's crazy to me, dude. Um, it would be easier to get a man to, I would say, double and dildo himself with you than it would be for a guy to, like, spread cheek and have his hands, have his, his knees behind his ears to let you indulge in his orifices. Uh, that shit is crazy. Dudes don't even wash themselves, dude. I literally know guys that have literally spent years without wearing deodorant, and you're over here thinking that you're going to put your face in between a man's butt cheeks and think you're not going to come out with, like, dysentery or something like that. You're probably going to unleash some, like, horrors beyond belief, like the Pandora's box of disgustingness that is that man's butt cheeks. Like, it's crazy, bro. Um, I've, I feel like eating a woman's butthole is fine and dandy or whatever. It depends on the woman, obviously. But most women do clean themselves. But for men, like if you were to look at a man's butthole, right, I feel like you would have to use your entire strength, like all the strength in your body to not throw up. Like I really genuinely feel that. I don't think men clean themselves very often. And I don't know why so many women want to eat butt cheeks nowadays, bro. I don't know what that is, bro. Um, I get it. We all started watching porn really, really early. And that probably insignifies that you are into some weird shit. I know I am, right? I've seen, like, everything. Like, I remember from the time I was, like, when did I first start watching porn? Like, 12, probably. Uh, from the time I was 12 up until, like, now, I've seen literally everything. I don't think there's anything at this point that could possibly make me go, what the fuck? I've never done that. When I've ever watched porn, I go, yep, that seems right. <laughs> that seems okay. That seems, yeah, that makes total sense to me. I've literally seen a woman go into a glory hole and you're thinking, oh, what is she going to do in the glory hole? You know what she's going to do in the glory hole, right? Nah, she didn't do that. She she got down her knees, no penis was involved, and she just started licking the rim of the glory hole. And I'm just thinking like, damn, bro, that's fucked. That is nasty. But like most of, these glory hole, most of these glory holes are not real. You know, like they're not, you know what I'm talking about? Like real glory holes don't have like duct tape and shit around them and shit like that. Um, and most dudes are not going, you know, I might as well just slide Nick into this shit. And then also people got to think about this, right? Unless it's like a transgender bathroom, which for all of time didn't exist. Um, if you're going into a men's bathroom and you're expecting a woman to be on the other side of that slopping you off, that's not true. That's a man. You're going into a man's bathroom, dude. What are you doing right now? What are you like? What is this illusion that men are under by going into bathrooms, right? Going, oh man, this bathroom's got a glory hole. It's going to be a bad bitch. And nah, that's a man. You're feeling mustache hairs on your shit. That's a man. What do you you think you're getting sucked off by a a busty Latino with a mustache? No, dude, that's a that's a full grown man. That's a Hulk Hogan man on the other side of that shit. And if you hear like, oh yeah, that's a man. That's 100 percent a man. I don't know why so many people think that this is like a is this like a far fetched idea? Nah, bro, you're in a men's bathroom. I don't know what's up with that shit. Anyway. I don't know what we're talking about right now. It just kind of makes me angry, dude, because I see that a lot. I don't watch glory hole porn anymore because I used to. 
um, because I didn't like seeing, like, I used to not like having to see men. I don't like seeing men in porn. I don't even want to know if there's a guy in the, like, the video. Like, I don't want to know, because, like, I had bad experiences, dude. I, I remember watching pornography where a guy would record, and I shit you not, this happened so many times, bro, where a guy would be recording it, right? He'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, get it, get it. And then out of nowhere, he'll go, oh, yeah, oh, he'll look down at his shit. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? What are you doing? What is this POV? Nah, bro, I don't want to be the cameraman. I'm trying to put myself into the body of the guy having sex with the woman. But I keep getting discouraged because I'm looking at a guy beating off to two people having sex. I don't want to be you, bro. Why? What is the what is the thought process of me looking down at your dick and you beating off for like 22 like 20 20 to 30 seconds and then you finally scroll back up I'm like, "Dude, Jesus, like this is gay as fuck." Like I'm I'm watching heterosexual porn and then in 30 minute increments. Sorry. 30 second increments every five minutes. I got to be gay. Nah, bro. I don't want to do that. I'm just here for the heterosexuality, not for your beating off shit. I, I, look, I can do that myself. You know, I got eyes and I can see my big ass meat. You know, I don't need to look at yours. Anyway, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Say that clothes looked bad on your body because your body looked bad. You use derogatory terms to speak about your past self and give the word fat a negative connotation as if it's a bad thing. It is a bad thing. Why do we argue if fat's a bad thing? It can be okay. Man, it just... These people are so fucking stupid, dude. Because, like, I hate having to keep preferencing this shit as if I'm ha I'm the unreasonable one. It depends on the context, right? It depends on where you're seeing this particular activity transpire. If we're talking about being obese, bro, if we're talking about being fat in the, in the senses of having clothes fit you or, in general, like, being overweight... Yeah, it's not good, okay? It's not fucking good. I don't even know why I have to be the bearer of bad news for these people. It's probably okay if you were in my circumstance and I was like 110 pounds at my lightest. I think I was actually like 105, right? And I needed to gain weight. I did. I just needed to gain weight. And it didn't matter what kind of gain weight I gained. Weight was important for me. And I gained some fat. That's okay. That's all right. So fat in that context is fine. But if you're talking about somebody that's 250 and you're going, oh, you're saying this is bad? How dare you? Yeah, I am saying this is bad. This dude can't even get up off the fucking chair without going. <sighs> like, if he's doing one of those, dude, I don't, what are you, 24? What are you doing, bro? Why do you? Why are you getting up off the couch slower than Joe Biden? You got to work on yourself a little bit more, okay? So, within the context of, like, being obese and being fatter, yeah, it's not good, okay? I don't know what to tell you about that. It's, there's literally just no doubt about it, okay? and give the word fat a negative connotation as if it's a bad thing. Clearly, you didn't do that, man. Clearly you had a lot of self-hatred at that time, and I do feel for you in that aspect. And you clearly worked hard to change your body. It's got to be difficult to see fat people online that are happy with themselves, that don't feel like they need to change their body, that don't want to look like you, that don't want to lose weight. Fat Oftentimes, when I see people make this claim, they're ignoring that... If a fat person that was fat is no longer fat and they're looking at it from the outside looking in, right, their previous selves, they're seeing, they're acknowledging that this was a negative aspect of their life. They dealt with some problems or a lot of problems. Like, I don't, I really don't know how so many people can like not realize this, but when you're fat like this, there's a lot of problems. There is. And it, it, they drastically add up over time as well. So. If you're saying that this person's like wrong for looking at other fat people saying that shit and you are seeing that and you're going like you're such a bad person for acknowledging this and like they don't want to change so they can live their life, which is fine, by the way. If you're fat and you want to continue to be fat, you have the right to be fat. I think it's amazing that you're fat. Honestly speaking, it's such an amazing accomplishment that in society we have reached a level to where people can actually be obese. That's actually – like in all, in all honesty, that's actually amazing. I almost can't even believe it sometimes. But – you have to at least understand to a very like basic degree, it's not good, right? Can we just agree on that? And if you're saying like, oh, I'm fat and I'm enjoying my life, that's great. That's fine. I'm not going to tell you that you're doing otherwise. But if, if somebody's bringing up to you like, oh, you're having all these problems and you're consistently complaining about these problems, but you're not drawing the connection that the problem is that you're fat and somebody is and then you're upset that somebody is pointing that out to you, what the fuck do you want me to do, bro? This person knows the truth since they've been on that side, right? That dude, Leo Skippy, literally has been overweight, obese even. So Fat people that love their body at any size and embrace themselves. Which I don't think is a flex, by the way. Like, loving your body at any size is, I don't, you can love yourself, love yourself now. You should love yourself, right? But you should also have the ability to love your body enough to understand that there might be something wrong with it. There's not, 
there's nothing good about looking at your body and seeing a problem and then going, I love myself, therefore I don't have to change it. That's that's not good. That is, that's actually the problem. Like if you wake up one day and you got like a lump on the side of your neck and you're going, I love myself, this doesn't matter. Well, that's fine. You could say that it doesn't matter. But like when you go to the doctor and the doctor goes like, yeah, dude, this is fucking, that's like a whole nother human growing on your neck, dude. We got to do something about this shit. And you go, no, because I'm loving myself. That's what I hear on their sides. Like they're, these people are literally looking at themselves with so much love that they're not acknowledging the problems that they're going to be under. So, nope. Because you could never do that. You had to lose weight to feel good about yourself. And Which is not a bad thing, by the way. Like, I don't think that Leo, I don't think many people realize this, but when you're fat, I don't think that these people feel bad. I just think that they think they can feel better, if that makes any sense. Like, you have a new understanding of what is and what is not bad anymore. It's kind of like being a drug addict. A lot of people that are drug addicts love it. A lot, they, they love it. They love being under the intoxication of the drugs. They love having the ability to just you know, step out of reality for a few hours and then be addicted or whatever. And once they get off the drugs, often I see people, they, they come to this new realization of like, even though I felt amazing at this particular point in time and it did feel amazing, now I'm in a better point in my life. I feel better physically speaking. I feel better mentally speaking, right? I'm more clear and stuff like that. I feel like both can be true simultaneously. It's just to different degrees and like new understandings of that. Like you could be very happy while you're obese, but can you imagine how happy you would be if you weren't obese? You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's kind of like when I, I used to drink a lot of soda. Like I used to drink three or four cans of Coca-Cola or Pepsi every single day easily. And um, I used to love it, right? But then I stopped drinking it because people told me it was bad. And then I drank water and then I went back to it, right? I went back to soda because I was like, ah, it's been probably three or four months. I've been drinking nothing but a while. Let me see how soda tastes. And I tasted the soda. And I was like, this is atrocious. It tasted terrible. I didn't like it anymore. And it's like that because you don't know how good it is until you see it, until you get on the other side. And then you realize, oh my God, this is amazing. Kind of like being a closeted gay man for your whole entire life, thinking that vagina was like the best ever. And then one day when you accidentally indulge with the BBC, right? Maybe you're fucking beatboxing or something like that. You're on stage and you're like, boom, chicka, 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 boom, chicka, chicka, whatever, right? And then a dude like jumps up and replaces the microphone with a penis. And you're like, boom, chicka, right? I don't know. There could be tons of times you accidentally suck on dick. I know there's a lot of people out there that go, David, you don't accidentally suck on dick. There could be some times, okay? Don't lie. And you suck the you suck the big flavored up BBC, right? The seasoned BBC. And then you realize, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. That, that, that tastes better than vaginal fluids. The BBC is the way to go. It's probably like that. Like you, you loved women, but then you realized you just love women in a different way. And you actually love penis you still don't feel good about because you could never do that you had to lose weight to feel good about yourself and you still don't feel good about yourself because you're online talking shit about fat people and i don't think that means i don't know why so many people think like they, they think that people project i heard that somebody say this the other day where they said oh if you go online and you see somebody that has a bad haircut and you point it out and you point out that they have a bad haircut that doesn't mean that they have a bad haircut that just means that you think you, you're projecting your own bad haircut on other people, and that's actually the reason. And I was like, listen to this shit. I was just thinking, like, what the fuck is that logic, bro? Like, so I can't look at actually somebody. If I was outside, and I've, I've seen this many times, bro. I remember one time I was downtown, and there was a group of black men, and they were gay black men, which is really rare, right? Um, I'm not saying that gay black men can exist, but it was like a group of them, right? And uh, these dudes were all wearing crop tops really like booty shorts, you know, slay queen edges, whatever you want to do, right? But it looked terrible. Like these dudes had hairy legs, um, their butt cheeks were all out, right? And their hair was a mess. And I thought, this is not the right outfit for these guys, right? Is that me projecting my inner homosexuality towards these guys looking at what I was wearing, which was like jeans, a t-shirt, and like, I guess boots? Nah, bro, nah, I'm okay wearing what I'm wearing. I know that what they're wearing is busted. You know, like, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't have to, there's no projection involved. Like sometimes it's just literally, oh, wait a minute. That actually looks really bad. And I want to tell that person. It could just be that. It, you know what I'm talking about? It could just be that. It doesn't have to have some like very deep, you know, behind the scenes meaning. It could just be that you looked at that person. And you're like, oh my God, that shit is bad. It 
could just be that. It doesn't have to have like deep meaning behind it. Lose weight to feel good about yourself and you still don't oh. feel good about yourself because you're online talking shit about fat people. And this logic that you're setting up, a brand can want to have a certain look. A True. brand can want to have a certain demographic. Now, let's say, let's play pretend that somebody came on this app and said, a brand doesn't have to include black people because it's not their demographic. It's Yeah, they could do that. Uh, the problem, they could do that. It, it just depends on where you're looking, right? Maybe in some particular countries that might not be okay. Here in America, I do believe they might have some problems. <laughs> like the problem is like, how would you even discriminate against black people in general? Like you have to have like a guy at the front door with like one of those color coding signs that you get at like Lowell's for like paints and go like, well, hold on, wait a minute. Do you have a picture of your parents maybe? Cause you just might be a little tan. But we just gotta authenticate the 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 amount of melanin that you currently have right now. Does that also work for black guys that have like vitiligo or that are like literally white from that one disease? What is that shit called, bro? The powdered donut disease? I forgot what it's called. But you have those guys, like, do you not let them in? I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking about like how that would even work exactly. Because here's the thing: like, they're not discriminating inherently for having fat people in the store they just the clothing items are just not in there so i don't know how a black guy would like walk into a store and determine that these clothes were not made for him because he's black like because of the guy do you think that like all black guys are wearing like tim's wife beaters and like dickies nah dude they're not doing that okay like black guys haven't worn that since the 1990s i mean maybe to tim's i know a lot of black guys that wear tim's but uh, nah, dude, like, black guys are pretty diverse in the clothing that they wear. I know one black guy that wears pink colors, and he's not even gay. He just likes wearing pink, which I think more white people should start, you know, wearing pink, too. I think I might start wearing it, but I think I might be a little bit, yeah, I think I might be a little bit too, too much for me, personally. I think I might just stay with my Neapolitan colors, but... I don't even understand how you would even negate black people from coming into a store, but uh, you could do that theoretically and there not be a problem. I don't even understand the point of this. This is a very bad comparison. Doesn't have to include black people because it's not their demographic. Like it's how would they do that though? Not their look. Well, that would be racist, right? Yeah, but like how would they do that though? Like it's, it, they, they always want to compare race and they always want to compare race and body size as if it's like even anywhere close at all dude you imagine how dis you remember how disrespectful this shit is to have a black guy just sitting there and you compare black guys to fat people bro that dude's gonna put his hands up like dude what the fuck dude i can't change my skin like i can't just wake up one morning and be like i'm sick of this shit i'm done with being black no more like I'm, yeah, that's never gonna happen but if you're fat you can most definitely wake up and be like i'm done with this shit i'm gonna stop being fat i'm gonna get on this slight calorie deficit i'm gonna be more active i'm gonna most definitely better my health and you know what to top it off there's nothing even wrong with being black yeah <laughs> you know what i'm talking about like being fat actually has major disadvantages when it comes to doing almost everything but being black you're just it's just a different color skin dude i don't know man maybe like it might be a little bit tougher to have more fucking i don't know dude like you have to wear more skin you have to wear more fucking lotion and stuff like that black dudes love lotion and stuff i do too you know i, I was around black guys i got a ton of fucking moisturizer literally i have so much this is new like this is a new moisturizer look this one i didn't even open yet it has a thing right because i have i have two more bottles because i just listen dude i don't care as white people we need to moisturize too it's it shouldn't just be a black guy thing Okay, if you're a white person, it's okay to wear a bonnet. It's okay to have moisturizer. It's okay to wear scented perfumes that maybe smell a little bit weird. It's okay. You can do that stuff as white people. Um, but if you're like, if you're a black guy, you probably notice already. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't even understand the point of this fucking woman. Like, what is she even saying? because it's not their demographic it's not their look well that yeah, would it was just a really bad comparison though be racist right and you would never say that because but like racism is way di man these people are really fucking their reach they reach so hard to justify their points man there's a big difference between racism and being fat phobic and there's almost no there's almost no justifying being racist like there's there might be like a really weird one-off way to like justify it if you live in like the Alps somewhere I don't fucking know maybe but being fat phobic there's almost no justification for being fat like most people don't want to be fat even fat people don't want to be fat so it's it's just way two different things man
the color of your skin, your disabilities, etc. Things that you can't change. Like, bro, if you're born without legs or you don't have legs, you can't change that. If you're black, then you can't change your blackness, but you can change your weight. I don't know why these people always go this far. Those are things that you can't change about yourself. And Being fat? So you would never say that about somebody that can't change something. Yeah, about no fucking duh. No fucking duh. What the fuck? No one, you know why he didn't say that? Because, bro, you literally just said it. You literally just said he didn't say that because those are things that you cannot change about yourself. You know how fucking terrible it is to say, hey, bro, you're, you're too black today. Ugh, you're disgusting, dude. I hate the skin that you have on your face. It's so melanated and not white. That's fucked up. You know, you can't say that shit. That's racist. But if somebody was like, damn, that gut kind of big. I didn't even, you literally like your gut came in five seconds before you, I even saw your head. Like if somebody said that to you, those are two very different things. Like you could change the gut size, dude. You know what I'm saying? Dude? If you're measuring your stomach in yardsticks, then you got to change that shit. If your belly button is deeper than your girlfriend's vagina, then you got to change that shit. I don't know what to tell you, bro. This just seems like if you got bigger boobs than your girlfriend, dude, I just think sometimes maybe you should probably change that. That's probably not a good thing. I'm just trying to adjust this shit. Like I'm having problems, okay? But anyway. About themselves like their skin color. But using that same logic, you- You can't use that same logic though. This, these are bad comparisons. Assume that every fat person has the ability or the desire to lose weight. You don't have to lose weight. Like, it, first of all, I would say with the exception of people with disabilities and certain disabilities at that, because I know a lot of people anecdotally that have major disabilities that would impede their ability to lose weight and still have lost weight. There are, I would say 99% of people that are fat or obese can lose weight. Like it's, it's, you know, as long as you're doing it in the right way, as long as you're actually prioritizing health behaviors and you're not like fucking crash dieting and stuff like that. Yeah. You can lose weight. It's, it's very possible for you. Uh, there's that. Uh, if you have no desire to lose weight, then that's fine too. You don't have to lose weight, but you have to at least understand that if you don't lose weight, there are going to be complications to that as if there is with anything in life. Like if you were somebody and you were going, I'm only ever going to drink from straws. Like I'm only ever going to drink from straws. And then if you go into an establishment and they don't have straws, then you're never going to be able to drink from, you're never going to be able to drink, right? Because they don't have straws, right? It's the same thing there. If you're obese, you're going to have to at least understand that there's going to be problems with how you're going to be able to navigate the world. And like I said, that's fine. If you want to be fat, I'm not shitting on you for being fat. Like if that's not something you want to change, that's fine. Be fat. But then, then on the other end, don't complain that you have to deal with the, the, the disadvantages of being fat. That's fucking dumb. You can't, you can't have it both ways. To look like you to be like you because you did it you lost the weight yeah why don't they want to and you offer up this logic of well i've lost the weight if you want to look good in clothes just lose the weight and you alienate everybody you that's fine though i think that's okay i think that's probably okay you should stand on your beliefs as much as you possibly can if you annex people because like what are you doing at that point what are you grifting you're just grifting a false belief because even though you don't believe this particular thing that you're spewing out of your mouth you are still gonna say it because it maybe rakes in the money or people like you more that's disgusting that's really gross you should have you should be you should be able to say what you believe and hopefully people will resonate with that that should be the the, the cause and then also it's like the best thing that you can do because if somebody believes something crazy, right, then then you can like, oh, I don't want to talk to this person anymore. This person's fucking crazy. This person believes that like beating up penguins, tying them up by their fucking legs and then hanging them on top of like a coat hanger and then just fucking beanbagging them. Like, I don't like that. I don't want to fucking follow this person anymore. So like in every aspect is just good, you know, like you should be as honest as possible, especially if you have like a fan base. So like what Leo did was very appropriate in my opinion like what do you want him to do you just want him to lie do you just want him to like not tell the truth like i'm sorry that you're a fucking grifter but he, if that person doesn't want to do it then they shouldn't be held up to that same scrutiny that you are if you want to look good in clothes just lose the weight and you alienate everybody you alienate fat people that are happy with their bodies that don't want to lose weight that I, I really don't like this like idea as well that you shouldn't say things to people because it might or might not offend them even if you even if you may or may not know that person like there are a lot of people that probably watch leo skippy that he has never like i would say probably majority of the people that watch leo skippy he has never even met or know about so how the fuck is he supposed to know 
if he says something, if it is or is not going to be offensive to somebody in his audience. Like, it doesn't matter what you say. The very act of saying something is going to offend somebody. So, I think probably just be as honest as you possibly can. And maybe if people fuck with that, that's cool. But if they don't, it is what it is. You can find somebody else that doesn't fuck with that. That's okay. Like, there are groups for, like, everybody on the internet. Isn't that great? But it shouldn't be, like... I'm not going to say something because I might offend somebody. You're going to offend somebody regardless. So even in this in this particular scenario where Leo Skippy was saying what he said, um, a lot of people agreed with it. But then there were a lot of people that didn't agree with it. And like, so what are you going to do? Like, what the fuck? This is what he believes, right? So like, what the fuck, man? Okay, whatever, bro. Love how they look, that love their bodies, that feel confident and are happy. Fuck them. What the fuck was I supposed to do about that? What? I don't care. So if you care about yourself and you're confident within your body and whatever the fuck, why the fuck are you so upset about what Leo Skippy said? If anything, that should be like a woohoo. Yeah, Leo Skippy's super opinionated. He's super hella based, dog. I love that. But I'm confident in my body. So even though he's saying all this stuff that might offend me, I'm not offended because I'm confident in my body. I know I'm beautiful. All right, sis, period. You're fucking comfortable. You're confident. So why is Leo Skippy? be making you feel so fucking terrible damn bro you can't even fall back on your own logic dude with their bodies that don't want to lose weight that love how they look that love their bodies that feel confident and are happy you alienate fat people who have recovered from eating disorders that have right it's like again dude like so what if you're telling me that if i speak my truth if i tell you what i believe i'm gonna alienate or make other people feel bad i know i know and you know what else is true? You making this video is alienating a lot of people as well. It can be equally said to you. You do understand that, right? No matter what you say, do, or don't do on the internet, it's going to negatively affect you, positively affect you, whatever the fuck. It doesn't matter, okay? This is a, this is a bullshit point. This is a fucking bullshit point. Her main point here is if you say something on the internet, there are there's a chance that people might disagree with you and annex those people from your your organization your society your fucking community i know that's literally the nature of doing anything in life i i don't even understand the fucking point that you're making now yes i know it's obvious like everybody fucking knows this shit but whatever bro she thinks she's profound because she's saying it in a different way confident and are happy you alienate fat people who have recovered from eating disorders that have worked very hard to get their body to the size that it is right now you alienate fat people that struggle from things like PCOS and thyroid problems and even cancer. Who alienate fat- Bro, this woman is virtue signaling like crazy, bro. I fucking hate these people. Attack the point, bro. Attack the point. Don't fucking virtue signal and say, you're making these people feel bad and I would never do that because I'm not a I'm not a person that makes other people feel bad and I could never do this. And you're alienating people that might have cancer, people that might have PCOS, people that might, there's a lot of mites in there. There's a lot of things that might make somebody feel bad. And again, why should that be your priority if you're talking about something that you believe? What the fuck is your point, dude? Why are you virtue signaling so hard right now? Fat people that have disabilities like lipedema. You alienate fat people that don't have the ability to lose weight even if they really want to because they live in food deserts, because they don't have access to healthy foods, to diets, to regimens, to training, to pro- If you don't have access to healthy food, where are you live exactly? Here in America, there are very few places that many people would call food deserts. If you don't know what a food desert is, it's basically like, if you're in an area, which I might agree with in the sense of like, okay, most of America is built with a car in mind, which is really sad, right? Because we disincentivize walking, which is, again, really fucking sad. Like, if you go to Europe and other places, mostly cities are designed to be walked in. And if not walked in, then bicycle rides, which are way better than fucking driving cars in the sense of, like, exercise and things like that. And it might actually be more efficient to get where you're going on a bicycle than it is in a car. But anyway, it doesn't matter. If you're talking about it on that front, if you're saying, like, oh... I don't know, Mayor. Let me let me go back real don't quick. Don't have access to healthy food. Oh, yeah, the food desert argument. Sure, like, you might live in an area that you don't have a car or maybe, like, you don't have access to clean food, but you have 50 bucks to spend on Uber Eats, but you have 30 bucks to spend on McDonald's. You have all this money. Like, bro, I lived in areas before, anecdotally speaking, I lived in the fucking projects, okay, dude? And I there wasn't a grocery store anywhere near me because I lived in the fucking projects, okay? So you know what we had to do? My, I didn't have family that had a car. So we had to walk to the grocery store and walk it back with carts. You know those carts? Yeah, that's what we had to do. And it was like two or three miles away. And, but we did it because what the fuck? That, there was no other choice to do it. And I'm not saying that everybody has the ability to walk. Okay, I get it. There are people that are disabled. I'm not saying that there isn't. But 
you have to at least understand that even if you're in a position like that, it's still up to you to make the right dietary decisions. Like it's still up to you to go out there and find, because I hate the fucking argument of food deserts. You're telling me, because it, it, to me, it just doesn't make sense in and of itself. Just the wording, food desert, which would give you the idea that there is no food around you. Yet, these people are drastically overweight and drastically obese. So, obviously, you're getting fucking food. You're just getting food that's really, really bad for you. And it's not even... In Look. It's okay. It's I'm going to take the wild stance here. It's okay to eat a donut. It's okay to eat a burger. It's okay to... It's, it's all right to do these things, but the difference is like you should be incentivizing the macronutrients as much as you possibly can, right? As much as you can, because if you go, let's say for instance, you go, you have a 2000 calorie, uh, uh, 2000 calories that you need in a day, but you already ate everything that you need to eat within that like 1500 calories with the micro macronutrients and you have 500 calories to spare. You want to go to Mickey D's and get a, a QP, a QP. Go ahead. It's fine. Whatever, dude. I'm not one of these people that thinks that, like, you need to eat clean all the fucking time. That's unrealistic for most people, right? It's okay to eat terrible, disgusting foods. You just need to make sure that you're getting what you need first and foremost. And oftentimes, the foods that you're getting at Mickey D's or other places, dude, it's running your bank account up like crazy. So, like, you can't, like, go and make a sandwich or... You can't like, uh, I don't know, put a meal together. Meal prepping is really fucking cheap. Maybe it's not efficient for time frames, but like everybody's got a day or two where they can do something. It doesn't take that long to meal prep. Most of the foods that you're cooking anyway are made in the air fryer or cooked on the stove in a pot that you don't even have to look at for 20 minutes anyway. Like, uh, what? Foods to diets, to regimens, to training, to programs. You alienate everybody. You yeah, but this is such a fucking terrible point. It's such a bad point, dude. Because like all I'm hearing from this woman is, She's not attacking the point. She's not actually going for the reason why that dude Leo made the video to begin with. She's basically saying, you said something that is going to offend me and everybody that I know. Therefore, I'm going to make you feel bad for saying it. You act like it's some sort of choice. Like, oh, well, you're choosing to live this lifestyle. Most people are. That, I, I, I don't even, uh, yeah, most people that are fat are choosing to be fat. Uh, with or without, like, you may not, you might be doing it passively. Like, you, most people, okay. How obesity traditionally comes upon, it's not just you wake up, you're fat. No, obviously, everybody fucking knows that shit. But what tends to happen is you're 19, you weigh 110. You weigh, let's say, you weigh like 150 pounds, okay? You're 20, you weigh 160 pounds. You're 23, you weigh 165 pounds. You're 28, you weigh 180 pounds. You're 32, you weigh 200 pounds. That shit happens. Like, you gradually become more and more sedentary, right? I remember when I was working at this one establishment, I was running around all fucking day. I wouldn't be surprised... If when I was working at that one job that I had where I was like running back and forth all fucking day, I was burning like 3,000 plus calories every single day, dude, because I was incredibly active. Now replace that job because usually when people get older, they become more and more sedentary. So as you become more and more sedentary and you're sitting down all day at your fucking computer desk and you're, you're, you're fucking ordering Uber Eats nine times out of the fucking day, not burning any calories, I wouldn't be surprised if your like resting metabolic rate was like fucking 10. Like obviously, you're not doing anything all day besides sitting down. There's going to be a reason why you gain that weight. And it happens, uh, it happens gradually over time. Some people, maybe not. Like some people do have disorders and other things like that where they eat a large quantity of food and maybe they do gain weight a lot of like oh but most people that are obese they didn't just become obese over a year or two it's like a, a gradual process over a decade or more of their life and it really sucks a lot of dick especially if you're starting at a younger age if you're like a child and you had no you had no idea this was like a negative thing because you're a fucking child then then yeah it happens when you're younger. And if you're a fat children, you're going to be a fat adult for the rest of your life because it's really hard to, like, break out of those instilled values that you, 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 that were, like, fucking beamed upon you when you were a children. So, yeah, I mean, I, but, like, this, this woman is not actually saying anything. She's just blabbering on and on and on about how terrible Leo is without actually attacking the, the point itself. She's just making, like, oh, you, you should feel bad about this. Well, you should feel bad about what you're saying. You're just saying literal blasphemy. Buddy, you act like it's some sort of choice. Like, oh, well, you're choosing to live this lifestyle. You can get out of it. When Would you say the same thing to somebody that had a heroin addiction? Because that's something I always, like, I always want to go to, right? If somebody had a heroin addiction and they were, like, deeply, deeply, deeply addicted... And they just couldn't stop themselves. Anytime they ever got money, they would just take that money to the dealer or they would sell TVs or they would steal something from you or whatever. And they have a choice, right? They do have a choice. They can just not be drug addicts anymore. They can make the right decisions at the right time to get themselves out of that, that particular situation. Would you tell that person that it's not their choice or like they don't have the ability to because of some 
illness or whatever, most of those people do have the ability to do that shit, right? But you're you're okay with one, but you're not okay with the other. Because everybody would have a problem. If you had a family member, a friend, a family, whatever, even just a guy on the street, you would have a problem with that guy doing serious amounts of drugs, heroin, whatever the fuck. But you would have no problem with a family member that is literally 300 pounds at some places. And you're just totally okay with that. And you'll forgive it because you say it's not their choice. Are you fucking serious? Like, how how disingenuous is that shit? Like, I, I genuinely want to know how these people would react to that question. And that's just not the fucking truth. It's not the truth, but it is the truth. Like, you could say it's not the truth. What is your, what is your proof behind that? How is it not the truth? That is a choice. ...to live this lifestyle. Most people. I always got to specify this shit. Most people. Meaning 51% or more. But I realistically mean, like, more than 90% of people that are fat... It is a choice. It's like 100% of choice. You can get out of it when that's just not the fucking truth. You piss me off. The fat phobia on this app continues to astound me and piss me off every single fucking day. And I'm so sick of dudes that look like you talking about people's bodies. Bald guys that are six, seven. <laughs> so Pacific guys that look like him. There are very few men that look like Leo Skippy. That's a crazy ass statement dude. and then also I don't give a fuck. That you're mad. It doesn't really, I don't care. I don't know why people are so emotional, bro. How does it feel knowing that you made this entire video and none of the, you made zero points. You just virtue signaled the entire way through and your eyebrows look really cute. They're really nice. Yeah, aren't they? Like very, very night, neatly shaped and whatever. Come on now. In my Come last on. video, I said that being fat is not necessarily bad and being fat does not mean that you are necessarily unhealthy. You didn't say necessarily. You you outright said that. Don't say necessarily. We just seen the clip. We just seen the clip. You said it wasn't a choice. You said it's not something to be changed. You said no problem with it. Don't lie. And I'm getting a lot of comments from people that are saying being fat is bad. Being It is. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. It's probably not bad. Again, I got a preference. It's probably not bad if you're like 110. If you're like a Eugenia Cooney, you probably need that fat fine with me but most people that are most people that have this problem are ob fat or obese so let's not be like let's not be disingenuous here let's not try to make it seem like we're all talking about some crazy shit no when i talk about the people that genuinely need to gain weight we're talking about the people that are already fat fat is unhealthy causes heart disease causes true. blah 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 true being fat is bad true. okay okay um I would like to take a look inside your fridge. What do you have in there? Do you have all organic, non-fat? This woman's fucking dumb, dude. Are you? Oh, ah, I, oh, all organic, huh? Do you, these people, if you let somebody speak for long enough, they'll tell you the truth, right? They'll, they'll tell you the fucking truth, bro. This woman has absolutely no idea what nutrition is. She is just fully on display. Organic foods, really, dude? Is that really what we're going for? So if you're thin, and you're not eating organic food. Somehow you have no you have no bearing to talk on something because you're not doing something 100%. Are you fucking stupid? That is a dumbest that's one of the dumbest statements I can possibly hear in my life. That's like somebody that's like That's like somebody that's like a millionaire, right? And this guy has tons and tons of money and he's going, "Guys, I know how to improve your lives, how to make more money, how to be more stable within your family life when it comes to financial uh, auditing yourself and things such and so forth. And you go, well, hold on now. You don't have all the money. You don't have all the money in the entire world. You just have some of a lot of the money. So you can't actually talk on this because you don't have all the money. That's a dumb statement. That's a stupid fucking statement, dude. Nobody... I don't give a fuck that you don't eat organic food. Most of the time, organic food doesn't really even matter, especially if you're whole, if you're, if you're speaking generally here, dude, as long as you're getting good whole foods, as long as you're creating good concoctions, you're eating within your calories, you're getting your nutrition met. Organic food is like the mid maxings. Okay. Like if you're a guy or you're a girl, you're like a muscle mommy and you're like 4% fucking body fat year round. And you want to prioritize as much health as you possibly can to ensure that you're going to live as long as you possibly can. You want a mid max. That's fine. You can go ahead and spend five. You can spend $8 on a piece of bread. That's fine. If that's what you want to do. If you have the money for it, you can. But most people don't want to do that. Most people want to buy the BBC bananas and the giant fucking nut sack apples, which is fine. You can go ahead and do that shit. I don't give a fuck. What are you getting like 10 extra calories from that shit? I don't know. It's like this, this point of like, oh, you, you can't talk on this because you don't eat organic food is bullshit because you don't even believe what the fuck you're saying. Because if that was the case, you would say only fat people, really fat people can talk on something because they're the fattest people. You're not the fattest people. What about like the black argument? Okay. Let's say 
you you have to be the most black guy on the planet. Literally so fucking black that when you look upon him, your eyes suck out of your fucking head because he's literally so black that like he's it, it's impossible for light to even reflect off of him. It just becomes exorbitant. Like the light from your eyes is being absorbed off of him. That he's the only one that can talk about it because he's the blackest man in the entire planet. Like you don't fucking believe that. Don't don't lie to me. You know that's just not that's not a real argument. Anyway. I would like to take a look inside your fridge. What do you have in there? Do you have all organic, non-fat, healthy groceries? Do you meal prep? Do you have lettuce and spinach and chicken and rice? This or or do you mainly live off of frozen food from Trader Joe's and buttered pasta like most people? I get mine mostly from Stop and Shop. That's usually where I get mine from. By the way, it's fine to eat frozen foods. Those are fine to eat. We, it's okay. You're not a bad person for that. How often do you go out drinking? Do you go out like once a week, once every couple weeks? I don't go out to drinking at all. I literally, oh, man, I got this one, right? I don't even go out to drink. Yeah, I don't, I don't indulge in any of that. When you go out drinking, how many drinks do you have? Do you Zero. have one, two? Or Again, do this doesn't really even matter. Like her main claim here is that you can't have an opinion on this or like you don't know what the fuck you're talking about because you go out to drink, you eat processed foods. <laughs> What the fuck? This is such a bullshit argument, dude. Can you imagine somebody being like well versed in a particular subject and then you go, oh no, you don't know what you're talking about because you eat non organic foods? What the fuck? <laughs> what? What kind of dumb point is this? This woman must have like a mental deficiency. How does she not see that this doesn't make sense? You have like five or six or seven and then you black out and all your friends think it's so funny. Where are you? Who, what people do you know that are doing that? What the fuck? Dude, you're projecting off that one, dude. Most people that go out to drink are not drinking so much that they pass out in the fucking back alley and wake up the next morning in like panties. Do you smoke? No. Do you smoke cigarettes when you're drunk? Or no. maybe not when you're drunk. Maybe just like, do you smoke cigarettes in general? Do you vape? Do you no. have one of these? No. How oh, wow. She actually has a jewel. Damn, bro. These shit. Damn, dude. You know how long jewels have been out of fashion? I didn't even know they made these anymore. Whoa. These things were like, bro, when these things were like big, I remember literally walking by high schools and seeing like kids that were like 15, just fucking all jeweling. That shit was crazy, bro. Um, I don't think they make these anymore, though, because I think the government stepped in. Big daddy government stepped in with their big swinging dick and they were like, nah, you can't do this anymore. Do you, how many jewel pods do you go through in a day? What Nobody about even uses jewels. And I swear to God, this video is from like, uh, I think like two weeks ago. So she, had, I don't even, bro, I, I didn't even know they still made jewels, dude. I thought they outlawed those. Smoking weed. Do you smoke weed? No. How much do you smoke? None. How many carts do you go through a week? How often do you have to go to the dispensary to get your weed? But I don't. I don't do that. My biggest problem, I'm going to keep it a buck, okay? My actual biggest problem is I spend money on Celsius. That's what I do. But, but I drink one a day one celsius a day and a big a big if you ever see the live streams which you do every day not every day sorry uh i think like five days a week and usually around 6 p.m i spend a lot of money on caffeine and i do drink coffees so there's that uh that's all i spend my money on realistically oh and video games yeah sometimes video games i buy like a video game probably every month like this month i bought hades 2 so i've been playing that that's like like that's all i really spend money on yeah yeah i'm not even joking either like i don't think i have very many i don't have a lot of expenses Whatever. I haven't been like close. You know, like I've been, I've been wearing the same clothes for like the last four years because I just hate going clothes shopping. I don't know. I, I feel like I just don't have many vices. Like I'm not bragging about that. I don't know. Yeah, but this woman is. Uh, this is a uh, terrible, terrible, terrible points. How much do you smoke? How many carts do you go through a week? How often do you have to go to the dispensary to get your weed? But your unhealthy lifestyle doesn't matter because you're skinny. Yeah, this woman is dumb. This woman is so fucking dumb, bro. This is one of the worst points I've ever heard somebody claim. I, I almost can't believe that somebody can make this claim and have a straight face. Right? No. Right? Fat people do not have to be the picture of fucking health to deserve your basic human decency and res What are you talking about, dude? Nobody is... What Leo Skippy said was in the in the category of being having clothes, okay? So like we're not even talking about a baseline understanding of respect here. We're literally just talking about somebody buying buying clothes and having like an inability to do that because they're fat and they might not have the ability to buy those things. So like what are you even talking about? This doesn't even have anything relevance to it at all. And then also to start this video off, you literally said that people were saying that being fat wasn't a good thing and it's unhealthy and it can cause a whole bunch of health conditions. So what the fuck does this have to do with respect? What the fuck does this have to do with getting human decency what are you talking about why you're just coming up with your own points right now people do not have to be the picture of fucking health 
to deserve your basic human decency and respect. And I guarantee all of you, there are plenty of fat people that take care of their bodies better and are way more healthy than any of you will ever be. But that's besides the point though. What, are you fucking dumb? Are you stupid? Is this, am I talking to somebody that has some kind of like mental derangement right now? I don't care. That's not the point. You're missing the entire point. You're missing the entire fucking point. If somebody says to you, <laughs> if somebody says to you, being fat leads to health complications and overall is a negative effect on your health. And your comeback to that is, well, there are some fat people out there that are healthier than you probably. Okay, that's, you're, are you fucking stupid? All right, I mean, sure, but that's not what I said. That has no relevance to what the fuck I said. I don't even know why you would even bring that up. Why would you even say that? Why would you say that dumb shit? Do you think that because somebody somewhere out there that's 450 pounds is living a healthier lifestyle overall compared to another guy that's skinny, somehow that, dis dis that disqualifies the entire argument points of being fat not good? <sighs> Man, dude, these people got to get better fucking points, dude. This is this this is actually a stupid point. Like I'm not even joking. This is dumb. This this entire lie this entire dialogue this entire dialogue tree that she she picked through is all dumb. Is literally just just hogwash. No value at all. But it's about health, right? I care about their health. This is oh. Oh. Oh, damn, she doubling down on that too, bro way more healthy than Ooh. any of you will ever be but it's about health right i care about their health i want to have a conversation with this woman dude. this woman is on some different shit do you or do you just care about making people feel bad you're dumb bro what that's some stupid argument points dude so because you're not living the best <sighs> so somebody that smokes cigarettes can't have an opinion on obesity because they're smoking cigarettes <laughs> You can't even care about your own health. How do you claim to care about other people? This is Those dumb. just weren't flattering. Oh man, that woman was, that's, that, that was stupid. No babe, the body wasn't fucking flattering. Look, we're gonna make it quick. No one is exempt from fat phobia, period. Not even fat people. I'm a big bitch myself, and I sometimes have fat phobic tendencies. But for Leo Skeppy to have once been obese and now is skinny, it's understandable as to why he is fat phobic. Because being fat, whether it was before you or now fucks up your mindset because socially by standards you're treated like shit and this happens in all walks of life if you were once racist and now you're not racist you can still be racist i don't like this argument point because like all it basically says is that there's no way that you could ever not be something because you might or might not have been that thing at one point and also society so it's like, I mean, I, I understand it to a degree because these people's definitions of this stuff is, it's so fucking skewed. It's like the people nowadays that say like, you can't drink Coca-Cola or you can't drink Pepsi because somewhere, somewhere along that line of the, the food chain of you buying that soda, that money is going to some country, some, some company and that company's money is being funneled somewhere else. And that's all. And it's going eventually to Israel. It's just dumb. Like, nobody's fucking doing that shit, dude. Nobody's going, oh, I can't buy Coca-Cola because, you know, the, the the 89th person that gets this money might be the Jew person from, like, fucking Israel. It's such a dumb way of thinking about it. It's like somebody going, oh, you're actually, you're actually, if you're, if you're a vegan and you don't eat animal products, well, then, you know, you're actually still supporting animal products because when you go to that grocery store and you buy, like, I don't know, that vegan cheese that you fucking got, that was like, I don't know, graded off the side of a, of a tree. Well, when you spent that $8.99 on that, uh, a good like four cents of that actually went to the store. And the store actually is totally okay with selling meats. And a lot of that meat product was being sold from this one company that was like factory farming like chickens. And they were like sucking guys off too in the back. So not only are you supporting you're supporting meat products. You're supporting the process of a man sucking on another man in the back of a meat process, which is even worse. So you're homophobic now too. I just, I just don't like it. I just don't like it. Like how far, how, how deep we have to go into the shit. And most people, like if you tell somebody that bullshit, most people would just like, you would lose them within the first three sentences. Like most people are looking at that and going, that's ridiculous. That's unreasonable. Nobody's looking at it like that. That is a craziest way of looking at that shit. Nobody is doing that. Nobody racist and now you're not racist you can still be racist 
how much weight is enough weight loss. I think that this is the trap of the slippery slope. Most people don't have to worry about this though, because it's most people that are losing weight are just trying to get into a good BMI to just be healthy. And by the way, most people could abide by the BMI. I know there are a lot of people that say the BMI is unhealthy. 99% of people can use the BMI and it'd be fine. But it's just supposed to give you like a broad understanding of where you're at. So if you're like, I don't know, let's say you're 250 and you want to you want to lose weight, most people don't have to worry about how am I losing too much weight? Because if you lose 50 pounds, right, and you're 200 pounds, you're probably still fat, which is really good, by the way. You lost 50 pounds. That's amazing. But most people don't have to worry about, like, losing too much weight. Most people will come to the understanding, like, I'm good now. Like, I've hit my peak, and now I can start gaining muscle or whatever the fuck. I don't know. It's – most people don't have to worry about this. The goalpost of desired weight loss is always going to keep moving because we're gonna get to that next goalpost and it's not gonna be enough. There are some questions I might ask myself as to why I have this number in my mind of what I should weigh. It's a dumb argument point because the way that she's making the seem is that if you lose weight, it's never gonna be enough, therefore you should just not try. Okay, I mean, if that's the way you think about it, then why do you make more money than, why are you striving to make more money than you already have right now? Like. If your argument is that you shouldn't lose weight because you'll never lose enough weight, then why are you make why are you trying to make more money because you'll never make enough money? Who determined that this number was the number that I need to be at? Usually the person. Usually the person that's fucking going out on the weight loss. I, I what is the question? What is the reasoning behind said number? Health, aesthetics, abs having extra meat capacity because as you lose weight the meat actually becomes more defined on the base i don't know it's a whole bunch of reasons what do i believe will change when i reach this goal post being able to walk upstairs without being out of breath having less diabetes having better blood pressure having less joint pains being more attractive to my partner having more and defined butt cheeks having I mean, there's, I don't know, there's a lot of good things about it. If I reach a certain goal post when it comes to weight loss and my feelings or my experience doesn't change when I hit that number. If, if, and, not and, if my feelings or my experience doesn't change. If, if, there's a chance, there is a chance. Because like the way she's making it seem, like it's all about the, it's all about the way that they say this shit, dude. Because it's not an and, it's an if. If your feelings don't change, okay? But your experiences will 100% change. I mean, that's a factual statement. If you weigh 250 or 300 pounds and you go down to 150 or something like that, your experiences will 100% change. Even going down from like, let's say 200 to 150, your experiences are going to change drastically. 100, even going down like 10 or 15 pounds is going to be crazy um, experience changes. So if your feelings don't change, there's a chance that you could feel the same. There is a chance too. But it's a big if because most people that are losing weight have an ultimate goal. And then when they reach that goal, most of them are satisfied because their life has changed for a measurable, a measurable, better, better ways. Will that be okay for me? Does my body have permission to change once I've hit that goalpost or do I have to stay there forever? Let's just oh man, that was, what the fuck that come out of nowhere with that sound. Yeah. You don't have to stay there forever. Uh, you can gain weight again i guess if you want or you can stay where you're at forever i mean it depends it just like leave it up to the individual right going through the comments because i love replying to like my comments because you always get like your regular commenters don't you mm -hmm. and stuff and i love like replying to them and i love i love becky you know i think becky is a really nice person and i think that she has a lot to offer to the world she's very positive i just it just sucks that she's has such a terrible way of eating that if you like look on her TikTok for more than 10 minutes, you just, oh my God, wait, hold on. She's eating so much food. It's so, so consistently, right? And then you realize like, hold on, wait a second. This woman's uploading five times a day. And every time she uploads, she's eating like 2000 calories. And this is all in one day. And she's doing it every day. And it's been, she's been doing this for like the past year and a half. And then you go, oh my God, this woman is dying. But yeah, that's like, that's what happens. So I just want Becky to be healthier. That's it. That's all I wanted to do. And I wanted to at least understand that the diet and like there's a reason why people comment like, oh my God, Becky, are you sure you want to eat that? Because it's fucking crazy. You're eating a lot of food. Comments because you always get like your regular commenters, don't you, mm -hmm. and stuff. And I love like replying to them. And I was just going through and I literally couldn't find a nice comment. It's fucking cringy, bro.
Becky put out this fucking video, video too. Becky Jones, she put out this fucking cringy ass video. That'd be like the equivalent of me making a compilation video of everybody saying that I'm gay. Like I just had a whole bunch of comment sections, like people in the comments going like, David, are you gay? Are you sure you're not gay? How come you talk about BBC? How come you always bring up sucking dick? Like, why do you always do this? And then I, in the background, it's just like, I don't know. Like all you hear is like, when late at night, or how's that song go? I don't care anybody else. When I think about you, I touch myself. I don't know. I just have a random song or something. That's the first one that came to my head. And, and like really emotional music and just going this is me crying i guess i don't fucking know like why are you doing this becky would you want us to feel bad for you dude it's fine like i do i feel i feel for you in the sense of like you're getting negative comments i do look at your comment section there are but you do delete a lot of them though she does delete a lot she go i don't know how she has the time to make five six seven videos in a day eating crazy amounts of calories editing out those videos throwing them on the on tiktok and then um scrolling through literally thousands of comments and deleting them crazy i don't know how she has the time for that but she does and like do not think that there's any type of like validity to any of those comments though like you don't think people that are commenting like, hey hey whoa you just ate like four thousand calories in this one meal that's really bad i was just going through and i literally couldn't find a nice comment I'm worried about your health. You must be so stressed all the time. Oh yeah, for real, man. Dieting is just no, 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 so not dieting. You know, I'm talking about your health. Like, you know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, man. People policing everything on my plate. No, 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 just... no. I'm not talking about policing your food. I'm talking about you know the difficulties you deal with. Oh right, the unsolicited advice, man. You just keep getting it when you're. No, that's fat. not what I mean. I'm talking about like your size, like your. Oh, you know what? Yeah, uh, not being able to find clothes. When I said when I said size, that's not what I meant. I just you know like how big you are yeah the commentary on my body is okay i'm worried about your health and i just want to make sure you're okay so what is it i i mean i understand like maybe it could become very taxing for somebody to con or some bodies to continuously come to you and go hey bro this is a problem it's kind of like if you're doing live streaming right sometimes you'll just get the same questions over and over and over and over again because there are different people coming in, maybe you have different audience members and things like that. So they're gonna ask you the same question. Oh, how old are you? Oh, what's your birthday? How big is your meat? I don't know. There's like a ton of questions that keep coming up, right? Which is fine. You have to understand that people are gonna say the same shit. On social media in general, people are gonna do that shit. Because even though you have a video or multiple videos clarifying why somebody might have a certain thing, right? Like one thing I get a lot, I get questions a lot is, David, why do you have so many SERPs, right? Why do you have so many uh, SERPs in your room like why do you do that right what what is that what is the mannequin right and i always like i'll always answer the question because like i know that people are it's not the same person obviously it's the same thing here like you have to expect to a certain degree that people are gonna have questions dude like who are you nobody knows who you are you're going to be new to a lot of different people obviously people want to know what's the deal with you right that's not it's not far-fetched dude it's okay um and then when it comes to your weight i understand it's not probably something you want to talk about but it's what people want to say you just want me to be stressed because I'm fat? In-person shopping for fat people in LA is the worst I've ever experienced. Like, why are there several places that I'm walking into and the largest size they have is a large? The largest size you carry, you create, you manufacture is a large. You, you have this problem in LA? Yeah, it's LA. What the fuck do you want? Yeah, dude, like, what is your population? Like, 80% homeless people and half of... Uh, Half of the other population are just blonde white girls. I don't know. Like, what do you want, bro? Stop having the boutique. Stop starting the boutiques. If you are starting with an XXXXXX small and stopping at a large. It's not cute. Cut the cameras. Are you wearing those pants backwards? Is she wearing these pants backwards? Am I missing something, dude? Where the fuck is the belt line? Where is the zipper? I, I get it. Like, if you're really fat. And you're wearing like high rise jeans. For some reason, women wear jeans like on their fuck, like on their rib cage. I don't know why so many people, women do that. But I guess it's like really unsustainable to have a zipper that's going down like two feet, I guess. I don't fucking know. Like, how big are these fucking pants, dude? I don't know, whatever. It's, it's small and stopping at a large. It's not cute. Cut the cameras. You should be looking in the mirror when you say that, dude. Apparently, there's a lot of things that fat people don't deserve. According to this person, uh, we don't deserve to fly. No, you, you could fly, but you ask for a lot when you fly. You do. You, you ask for extra seats. You ask for the seats to be extended. You ask for <laughs> different privileges, free seats in some cases. So, I mean, you could fly. We're just asking for you guys to be like, can you just like work with us a little bit? 
According to some clothing brands, designers, we don't deserve to have clothes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you did you think that did you think that it's like that for you know when I go to different clothing brands, right? When I go to like Forever 21, I walk into the store and I'm like this is this is fucking I can't there's not a single man outfit in this entire this is sexist. Ah! Like you I don't get upset by that because I'm not I know that specific stores are catering to particular genres of people. And sometimes I go into stores and I'm like, oh, wow, these pants look $130 for these pair of jeans. Not for me. This store is not for me. It's out of my budget. And But there, it's okay. There are stores that are in my budget. Uh, me being a smaller guy, it's very difficult for me to buy, to find clothes in general. Like in general, it's very difficult for me. I'm not complaining about it because I know that I'm like out of the ordinary. You know, and I'm not normal. And maybe you could say... Well, we are normal, David, because I'm a fat woman, and I'm, I think Samira says she's a size 20 or something. I don't fucking know, dude. And I guess the average size for a woman in America is like 16 to 20, and I understand. You have to at least understand that certain retailers are not going to supply those things, though. To model clothes. According to some popular dating shows, we don't deserve to find love. Why are you looking at date? What the fuck are your... Why do you go to these places, man? You guys have such weird uh, trees of, of things that you want, man. Like, so you want flying, which is a privilege. Like, I don't think majority of Americans fly. I don't think so. And then, what did she say? Like, clothing boutiques? Like, places that sell clothes? I mean, if you're having that problem, dude, that's really, like, most people are not having that issue. And then dating shows? Dating shows, dude? What about, like, like... How come you guys don't talk about like normal stuff? Like, I don't know, man. You guys have weird, yeah, you guys have weird stuff. And according to a lot of people, we don't deserve to eat either. <laughs> Who? Who said that? Who said that, bro? You guys are literally eating double or triple what normal people eat. And you guys are complaining that we're saying that you guys don't deserve to eat? No, we're not saying that, dude. It's great. You live in a capitalistic country and you can eat double or triple to make yourself literally fat. I'm okay with it. Go ahead. Bro, I'm, I'm sorry, dude. She's got to do something about these pauses, dude. These pauses ain't it. I don't know why she got to go so deep on the pauses. Like, if you're pausing for three or four seconds, dude, it's just not it. You're going to have to you gonna have to reduce that by a fair amount. Deserve to eat either. Oh, I can tell you oh what we do God. deserve. We deserve humanity. You said you're a manatee? What'd she say? She said something about her. She identifies as a what? We deserve humanity. Oh, humanity. Oh. That's not, I thought she said that she was identifying as a manatee. That's what I thought. But nobody's taken away your humanity, though. Like, maybe if you go to, like, some Asian countries, maybe some, like, Middle Eastern countries, I guess, maybe, they might take away because, like, they don't really like fat people there. But here in America, dude, we're, like, really okay with fat people. Like, most places in the West are, like, really okay with fat people. It's, like, basic, uh, basically, you're, it's, like, basically, uh, Western culture at this point is to have people that are obese. So what are you talking about? Can you go into that? What do you mean by humanity? Like what part of humanity is being questioned? Be because you're not in dating shows? And the video that this comment is on, the video of me asking for a belt extender, <laughs> the comments are full of vicious attempts. That's Meyer, you gotta get off the internet. I don't know why you focus on so much. You didn't think that video, dude, if you scroll through Samira's channel on TikTok, she's got like four four videos of that where she's just going up to a stewardess and be like, excuse me, can I have a belt extender? And uh, the stewardess is like, oh, yeah, of course. It's always nice every single time. And there will be people in the comment section like, damn, why don't you just lose weight? That's the issue oft oftentimes, though, is that we're not – I don't care that you need a belt extender. It's literally fine. Like, there's a reason why this is happening. But I just think it's really, really interesting that – you guys just don't, don't lose the weight to have that issue be alleviated altogether. To strip me of my humanity. Tr trust me on that. Ain't nobody want to strip you, bro. That's crazy. And I just wanted to let you all know it's not going to work. So Myra is so dramatic, dude, because she finds reasons like this is such a weird comment to just go off on this hard where you, you really think that somebody is saying 
that you don't have humanity because somebody said the fact that you don't that you do the fact you have to do th that you don't deserve to fly like where do you see hey i don't think i'm i'm like doubting your humanity like where is that like where i don't think you're a human where is it i don't see it you're going way too hard on something that's obviously not even what this guy said it's not gonna work i get comments and messages about what i should look like what are you damn bro so myra always going outside uh, i guess they do make zip but it doesn't even go down all the way whatever bro uh seeing somebody from the side is so insignificant because like when you're just seeing them like this you don't notice too much because like you're just seeing the face right and maybe a little bit of the body but when you're seeing them from the side you're just like oh my god dude you're my big these same negative suggestions you couldn't even crop that on properly dude like i get it, it might be a little bit difficult but this is an ad for something dove right how is this a dove ad and they didn't even put your actual thing on there are present in the biases of the current what are you even doing i code i'm partnering with dove to bring awareness to why these biases are so dangerous is this what is this what ai wants you to look like i wonder what ai wants me to look like does anybody have like an ai generator if you do, run me through, like, the AI and see what I would look like. And then send it to me on Discord, because I would love to see that. The perceptions of real beauty. This is... Yeah, but, like, nobody... Like, perceptions of AI beauty are... <sighs> like, what do you want exactly, dude? Because this doesn't... Because you don't meet meet the proper understanding of beauty standards. Just, like, you going off this... I, I don't even understand what the point of this is. It's what the current... AI code wants me to look like. What AI code though? Like you can't just lump all AI code and be like, this is what all AI wants. Really? All of them? There are some AI that don't even do stuff like this. Why would you, why does this even matter? What does Dove have to do with this, man? Whatever, bro. So by 2025, that's one year from now, Dove predicts that 90% of our feeds will be AI generated. What? What are you talking about? In what way? What? Don't get me wrong. AI is most definitely, it's a problem, but it's also not a problem. It just depends on where you're looking, okay? But if you're saying 90% of our feeds, what if, what do, you, what do you mean our feeds? Like what, what feeds? It's so, it's so ambiguous. Like where, what do you mean by feed? Where? What feed? Like Instagram feed, TikTok feed, all the feed? What is it? Please, I would love to know because I don't know what that means. All right, man, whatever, bro. What will representation for my beauty look like? My beauty. Your beauty. All bro, what are these fucking terrible ass... You just like random pictures of yourself that are poorly cropped on shit. All of our beauty deserves to be recognized, to be celebrated and integrated into our ever-changing feeds. And Dove agrees. So head to Dove.com to learn more and join me and Dove in keeping beauty real. Brands really be wondering why plus sizes don't sell, but if you want plus sizes to sell, why you keep making them ugly as hell? Why do I gotta get it in the mail? Why can't I go to the store like everybody else? Everybody else, they got it on the shelf. They Damn, dude. When you could pat on your chest and have that shit like a bongo, dude, that's gotta be an issue, man. What is this? This is such a terrible kitchen display, dude. Why do you have just random shelves that don't even have shelves and then have like, what is this, nuts? You got nuts? Tomorrow. The reason why a lot of plus size clothes are ugly as hell is because they can't. Most things are not going to look flattering for you. Most things. Because the idea of being fat, okay, the, the idea of being overweight in general is going to negatively affect your, your clothing choices. And then also not everything's going to fit properly on your frame in general. So, nah, dude. Uh, it, 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 it's not going to look flattering regardless. All right, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you can do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. Thank you, everybody, for watching the video for the entire day. Look what I have. Look at this. It's because, like, phones nowadays don't have, like, 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks. So I had to buy a, an adapter because my new phone doesn't have a – I bought a new phone. My new phone doesn't have a headphone jack. My last one did. So I had to buy a USB-C into a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. But look, it also has uh, a thing that you can plug other stuff into, like a charger too. So you can charge and I don't know why we're doing this to ourselves, dude. They're never going to stop. They're never going to stop me from using 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Okay. Um, 
analog all the way through okay i'm i'm i'm, I'm like a forgotten person okay like i'm not don't, i'm not doing it i'm not buying airpods or whatever the fuck the off-brand ones would be for android because i don't buy apple products i just don't okay i'm not a pleb like you no i'm fucking with you if you buy apple products it's fine but anyway um, you're a beautiful specimen of human being. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in 3.5 because we'll, we'll confuse people that just like watch, click video and then just scroll down to the comment section. They're just going to see 3.5 and think that that's how much I got when in reality 3.5 is... <laughs> I mean, it's all right. If you want to have a 3.5, I can't lie. That's probably tolerable for a lot of people. But for me, obviously, I got like 20 times that or whatever that number is. Um, it's actually kind of crazy how much big meat I have. But it doesn't matter. You know, you're not defined solely by what you have in your pants. You're a beautiful specimen. You have more than that. You're more than just your meat. You're more than just you. You have other things going on. And I love you for that. I think you're such an amazing specimen of human being. I want to tell you and whisper in your ear how beautiful you are. Look at that. I put it together. I put it together, dude. Breaking the code. But anyway, guys, um, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. By the way, you're an amazing person. You smell really great. Obviously, you'd be a member of the Avengers. I know you would because you're so powerful. You're so strong. You're so amazing. You're so resilient. You just have too much power. Way too much. Uh, but anyway, you want to check my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, uh, Discord, and other things like that. Make sure you check all that stuff out. We have a great Discord community. Like I said, I do live streams on this channel um, every day at around 6 o'clock. So, not every day, sorry, five days a week. Ugh. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.